so today is going to be a different video, but a fun video. Um, I kind of brought my little frostic, frosty lip gloss out for, you know, kicking it back to the old school days when I was in school. I graduated in 2010, if you didn't know that, I'm 25, I'm going to be 26, and I thought today we'd go through my old box of notes that were passed between me and my friends from middle school through high school, because obviously there wasn't really texting until like the last year of school, so I'm excited to go through these. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of them, but I will go through some of them. So this one says Jess. Let's see. Oh, ha. Okay, so this guy uh, liked me, and I, this, because this is kind of like a bashing note to me. I'm not gonna say his name, but he was, I think, a grade above me. Yeah. And I was like really good friends with him from like when I was in sixth grade all the way up till when I was a freshman in high school and then he so it was like three or four years and then he was just like a complete jerk because he liked me and I did it and I like wouldn't give him a chance and then I like just it was weird cause like I didn't want to date him but it was it was funny so he's like Jessica I've got something to say over these past few weeks I've looked through everything I know about you looking for something that makes me still feel hopeful that you could want me okay I've run out of things that make me want to jump through hoops for you and try. You clearly are not interested. No, I wasn't. If you want to ride that emotional roller coaster with this guy I dated in ninth grade, fine. I'm tr I'm done trying to convince you otherwise. He's self-centered, arrogant, has no idea what he wants. Who knows what they want in ninth grade anyway? But I'm not one to judge. I've been with people even worse. That's why I'm telling you he's not worth it. But I'm done. You've proven to me that you do not want to go out with me and that you just want to be friends. And that's not what is right for you. <laughs> okay, that's not what's right for me. That's great. That's great. I'm not saying I'm not willing to give our friendship a shot or more, but I'm packing up and moving on. I'm not going to kill myself over the situation. When you want to actually give us a shot, you can find me. I know what's important. And... I'm not going to rip my heart out waiting for you. You still love me. If you love me like I still do, you know my number. So he loves himself. Okay. P.S. Don't expect a welcome home. That was funny. And like this is like his writing. But yep, his name started with a Z. You can figure that out. But it was like weird. And then we became friends again when I was in college. And we like tried being friends. And like it didn't work again. And it was just like gave up being friends with him whatever gave up um this one is in pink and it's from a girl it says jessica i believe this is actually from a jessica literally like all pink it says wow and this was 3 8 2008 wow 3 6 2008 i just want to tell you that you have been so nice to me and i appreciate that you have helped me to go about my life i just wanted to say thanks and thanks, we always did T-H-A-N-X. Love ya, Jessica. P.S. Don't forget my melon gum. Love ya much. Uh, I had this, like, gum, and it was, like, a Maui melon mint from Orbit. I don't know if you remember it, but, like, I would bring it in all the time, and she was, like, about to move, and I'm like, oh, my God, I'm going to bring you a pack because, like, I'm going to miss you when you move. So, yeah. I always loved, like, the new kids. This is between me and and one of my friends TJ um we're not friends anymore but we used to play club penguin together like all the time and it was great like we come like we, we would pretend like we weren't friends in school um because like he had his friends I had my friends and our friends didn't like each other and then we'd go home and we'd like call each other on the phone and be like oh my god get on club penguin like it, it was pretty great I don't know which side is which I think the first is like okay so pen is me pencil is TJ so me, how is your mom acting towards you? Fine, we were supposed to talk more about it yesterday, but didn't. And then I go, oh, do you like my igloo? Because it's Club Penguin. And he's like, I really didn't see it much. I'm like, it's pink. Today I will buy a black puffle and name it after my best friend. He goes, okay, am I your best friend? And I said, lol, maybe. And then I said, we should, I said, I'll call you later. And he goes, yeah, yeah, we'll be on later. 
Yeah, I'll be on too. I'll be on Snowbank or Alpine, which is like the different um, like communities you can click because like some of them were full and some of them weren't like different like they have different like uh, sections you can go on. Um, if it ain't full, that wasn't me. That was him. And then I wrote nothing's full. Yeah, sometimes he wrote sometimes I'm like boo hoo. I'll be on one of the two. He goes oh oh. So do you hate me now? Did you really delete Jordan? No, and yes. Haha, <laughs> I deleted everyone but you and Becky. He goes, even Stephanie? I wrote, yeah, because she never goes on. And he goes, oh. So how was ELA on Friday? Sorry, I wasn't there. And he goes, boring as hell. And I was like, well then, if I am ugly, what are you? We must have been like, I'm pretty sure this was in study hall, but we must have been talking and writing at the same time. Because it's like, all of a sudden it jumps from ELA to if I'm ugly, what are you? He goes, I did not say you're ugly. I'm like, so whatever, who was the man on the moon? He goes, I don't know. I was like, I was kidding. Kiwi's rule. Okay. When life gives me lemons, I make grape juice and lay back and watch the rest of the world wonder how I did it. That was like my saying, like, and then how's life? I'm bored. Let's talk about deposition, JK, JK. Let's talk about trigonometry, JK, JK. Let's talk about kiwis. <laughs> I don't get this. <laughs> yeah. And he goes, well, you confuse me too much. And then I wrote, I would rather sit here and talk to you. And he goes, ditto. Stop annoying Alex. I know it's fun, but stop. And he goes, I'm not trying to. <laughs> okay, so yes, this was study hall because it'd be me, TJ, Alex, and then I think it was like Simon, but Alex was like, Alex did not like TJ, so we, it was, it, that was funny. And I like, don't really think Alex liked me either, but I was just like, hey, I'm your friend. That's not even a word. Oh, it, I said, retard, he goes, idiota. I was like, that's not a word. Well, idiota is also idiot. Okay, whatever, idiota. And then we drew like like little things like that was weird that was so weird like me and him just weird and then this one is like all red and green who is this between oh this is between me and this girl Becky that I used to be friends with um so the green writing is me and it's like so the plan is that you come over to my mom's we're talking about like coming over um, we're talking about American Idol and play American Idol. I made it to the fifth round of eight in Hollywood since I had American Idol for uh, PlayStation 2. And then she's like, this can only happen if our parents say that it's okay and we'll need a note so that I can ride your bus or maybe vice versa and my dad comes home early um, and spend the night at my casa. Run, Forest, run. Okay. Um, I said, oh yeah, oh my god, on Nickelodeon there was a robot commercial and the robot was falling down the stairs. It was funny, like minuscule. <laughs> okay, minuscule, minuscule was this little short on Disney Channel about ants and they would just like go across and it was like this five minute thing and there was no talking and the first time her and I saw it, we like were looking up during, I was like a sleepover and we were staring at the TV and we just started laughing. Like we sat there in silence for five minutes and then started laughing. So type in Disney Channel, minuscule ant, and you will find that on YouTube. It's hilarious. And then like I was writing and she's like, what the heck is this word? And then I was like, hiss, so hiss. Okay, and then we were making up themes for our names. So my theme was J to the E to the double S E, like Jessie, and then hers was B to the E to the C K Y. J to the E to the double S E, B to the E to the C K Y. <laughs> that was one of those notes. What is this one? Oh, this was a penciled note. I don't know who wrote this. I don't know who wrote this. What are you? Oh, <laughs> so there's this girl, Sarah. She was one grade below me and we did like all the plays together. No, one or two grades below me. She may have been 
two or three grades below me. I don't know. She was, she might have been, she was either two or three grades below me. Um, but we did the Andy play together and she was an orphan. And she goes, hi Jessica, you were the best mommy ever. Because like the older kids would adopt the kids that were, the people, the, the, the people that were playing the orphans. So like we would always, like we would adopt orphans in, in the play. And I was like, oh my god, I'm adopting you. And I had like five orphans. Like you're the best mommy ever. I'm sorry for choking you. <laughs> the too much water thing. In high, the high school is cool, and I'll be there in two years. Wait for me. Don't cry. You'll pro you probably are if you're reading this. You are a great person, a great mommy, and a great friend. You rock. Today is the last day of the play. I will miss you. So she was in sixth grade. I was in eighth grade. So definitely, she was two years below me. And then she goes Jessica and Josh because I had this crush on this kid Josh. And then she goes. Love Sarah, aka your daughter, and then David, lol, water, lol, because she like tried to kill me. And then she's like, you rock. So that was fun. I like that letter. That was funny. I actually found that. And I tagged her on Facebook and I was like, Sarah, look at this. And it was so cute. Um, oh, so I think I, I'm going to try to read some of this. And if you'll obviously if it's cut out you won't see it but this is from one of my long my like long-term boyfriend it's like Jess please don't break up with me I love you so much I love you always 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 I don't love Alicia or Mary or anyone else you might think I love or like you're the only one for me and no one can change that when you told me that you didn't love me my, my heart sang so low that I wanted to go be emo <laughs> oh my god that's pathetic yeah this one's funny um yeah, it's just talking about how he doesn't, whatever. And that's funny, is he ended up like cheating on me, and it was like really great. So yeah. Um, what's this one? Oh, this one feels like old. Who's this? Oh, this is also from that guy that I dated for a long time. He's like to Jess, and it's a really like short one. He's like, hey, I'm sorry, but you want to know what? I can't defend you when I don't hear the shit when I don't hear the shit people say so don't yell at me for not defending you and when you get that through your head then come talk to me I didn't like when his friends would pick on me and because we had very different friends so I didn't like when his friends picked on me and I was like you should like can you say something to this person he'd be like no because I didn't hear it I'm like well dummy they're not gonna say it in front of you so that was bad that was just like a really bad decision in my life oh my god this one's like really long <laughs> um Oh my god, I'm pretty sure this is between me and a girl named Megan. Um, this is definitely from ninth grade earth science class. And I'm like, I don't know if I should read this, but I will. I was like, Tim is really cute, so how's life? Ever since he found out, he's been so nice to me. Uh, he wouldn't be a bad person to date. What do you think of him? Is he better than... Uh, the other guy that I was previously dating. Some of the names I'll say because there's like they're common names and some of the names that are not as common I won't say because people may know that person. Um, aren't my puppies so cute? Make sure you write your initial next to what you write. Okay this yeah so that was Megan. I'm like yeah he would be a good person today I think. I really kind of like him. Blank is still better, but not by much. Your puppies are so adorable. Megan, I know they are. Unfortunately, I only get one of them. Hopefully, I get the girl, but if not, the boy is so cute, too. IDK, if you have to do do what for you it is, not up to me. And then I'm like, I have no idea what is right. I mean, does Tim even like me like that? But since he found out, he has been super nice to me, and if you get the girl puppy, you could have more puppies. <laughs> Megan, I could, but my parents won't let me and don't want to raise puppies. That is what breeders are for, not me, but I'm hoping to get the girl. And then I'm like, true, but would you like to raise puppies? Then so we're just talking about puppies. And then, I don't know, yesterday when I wanted to be his lab partner, he was like, yeah, sure. Normally he would be like, ew, no. He has not made one mean comment in two weeks. So what do you think now? Ask Stephen too. Steven says you should stick with your boyfriend for now, but I say do what your heart tells you to do. <laughs> so I must have been dating this one guy, his name started with an S at the time, and it was probably not going well, and I started to like, uh, this guy Tim, which he like hated me, it was so funny. He was like being nice to me, but like, he did not like me, it was so funny. 
Uh, plus Tim does not like me, like, at all. He still wants me dead. <laughs> what? Haha, <laughs> like, I said, do whatever you want. We then we go on and talk about puppies again. Like, that's really funny. Oh my god, that's so funny. I, that one I hadn't seen in forever. Oh, <laughs> this is actually funny. This one says, do you like Jess? Circle yes or no, and Tim circled no. <laughs> Megan wrote that so that was awkward and that was during her science when you know it's probably why I never passed science this is me this is between me and Amanda and we were writing this in chorus she's like do you want to trade purses I said for how long she goes I don't know tomorrow we'll switch you sure don't you sure you don't have to if you don't want to also I'm kind of upset right now and I was like I want to wow what purses was I switching Oh, it was probably my Green Day one. I had a Green Day bag and she like loved it. I want to. I'm already upset because I kind of get mad at Eric. Oh, this is not Amanda. This is Elena. This is the guy that I was dating that I couldn't say his name. This is the, the guy that started with an S. This is his sister. So I was like because I kind of got mad at Eric and now I'm not really hungry. Plus, I can't buy lunch anyway. And I was like, neither can I. LOL, I'm sorry. Are you going to be okay? Um, neither am I, but I can't help it. I'm the worst person alive, I swear. I said, no, you're not. You're my best friend. Yeah, and a horrible girlfriend. I said, no, you're not. I am a horrible girlfriend. Not to you. You're perfect to him. Okay? And then Elena's like, I'm not. You get what you need from my brother. <laughs> you listen to him. I passed her mind into hating me. It doesn't want to be with but I guess that's life. Okay, that was weird. And this is me and Amanda, because this one says me and Mandy, so. This one is pretty long too. And then I was like, uh, heard the girl's other girl's brother, so I was like, S doesn't care if I get him sick, I lost my voice. And Amanda goes, Chris doesn't care either. It's really funny, except he doesn't care when he gets me sick, die Chris. And then I was like, well, S cares if he gets me sick. I think he needs to have, I think you need to have a heart-to-heart -heart combo with Chris. She goes, wow, I would get so bored if I talked to Chris on the phone for as long as you talk to S. I was like, he gets really interesting on the phone. We sometimes watch Naruto. <laughs> I was like, yeah, me and S just sit there and keep saying, you need to talk to Chris face-to-face. -face. I wish I could, but I hardly ever get to see him. Yeah, so that's just her complaining about how she never gets to see Chris. So that that was funny. This is a hilarious note. This was like a threat that I got, but it never really got put as a threat. I don't know. It's weird. I got this in my locker, and it was like literally like this. It says, hello, Jessica. Your boyfriend is a F-R-E-K-N asshole, but it's A-S-S-W-H-O-L-E. <laughs> you have a huge ego that needs to go way down and way is literally like squared off. You need to tell your friends the truth or else I'm watching you so don't tell anyone about this from your secret admirer. Okay, I don't even remember what happened to that. This one is a Sharpie one. I love you more than anything in the world. Let me die if it's a crime or if I'm lying let me die because it's a crime. I want you by my side. I'm sorry. Oh, that was my long-term relationship. Okay, that's funny. Um, what are you? What are you? Oh, wow, this is, like, big. Ow, my foot is literally, like, falling asleep. Okay, I need to, like, chill. Then what do you think I mean? I don't know. That's why I can't get offended. I think I'm the pen. Who is this? Oh, okay, so I wrote, I have something kind of creepy to say. It is not bad, but it is shocking to Jenny and Juliana. Do you want to hear it? And it's like, why not? Can't you read? Why not? Okay, why not? K-N-O-T. I am, and then I wrote, I am not into charred as much as I used to be. Oh my god, that was like the big drama. And then whoever wrote, whatever, go ahead, do whatever you want. I found my lost pencil in the chair to ahead of me. Um, how did it get there? And I'm not magical. I guess it does take, uh... Ow, my 
foot is literally like when it falls asleep and has a really sore feeling to it doesn't she's like I'm not magical either go figure it out ow, ow, ow. you'll so take this the wrong way no I'm not then what do you think I mean where the heck did the other people come in can you what Okay, I don't know. That's basically me saying I don't like Charmed as much as I used to. Apparently it was a big drama thing. Oh, and I love you. Yeah, that's nice. I was like, hey baby, I love you. You are the best girlfriend ever. I'm glad that I make you feel better. I love you more than anything in the world. I love the way you talk. Oh, this is weird. Okay, that's probably from my long-term relationship. And this one... And this is between me and a girl named Chloe. And <coughs> she writes, my dad has a softball game next Wednesday. And then I was like, so does my dad. Cool, your dad does softball. And then she goes, yep, so does my dad. And I was like, what about, what about what? My dad plays softball on Wednesday. And then she's like, where? And I'm like, across from Jenna's house. Want to come with me? She goes, when? And I was like, tonight, it's Wednesday. She goes, I can't, my dad's practicing. What? That makes no sense whatsoever. Okay, that must have been like 7th or 8th grade. That's funny. And this says Jess. Oh, that's the same secret admirer person, which by the way, I know who that was. Hey, I see you in the halls every so often and I have to say you look as beautiful as you did back in 6th grade. Well, 7th grade. Two. I don't know what happened when you told Caitlin what you told her and I honestly don't care but back then I felt like crap people were all telling me it was because you thought I was gay okay so this is like the reason that I like basically like again this is the first time I tried to be friends with this person and I didn't like them so I was like oh I'm sorry like I'd rather be friends with you and like he didn't take it well and he's like I promise I'm not with Angel if that's what you thought then I'm telling you it wasn't true. I've never gone out with her. I never will. From what Mary told me, you aren't mad at me. You want to be friends. And JJ told me you want to be friends too. Anyway, I've been trying to say this ever since I ran into you on the second day of high school. So this must be when I was a freshman and he was a sophomore. And I start thinking of what I could do if you re what I would do if you rejected me again in front of all your friends. So here it goes. I still like you. I don't know if you feel the same way. You haven't before, but I don't know if you actually do. I don't care anymore, but I'll be in the clock tower after school today. So if you want to tell me you can, I'm dying to know. Well, clearly I didn't do anything about that. <laughs> this is great. What is this? This is Jessica and Becky. So this is me and Becky. Um, oh my God, that's so funny. I was like, hey, Phoebe, because we played Charm and she was Phoebe. I was like, hey, Phoebe, what's up? I can't sing today. I kind of have, like, no voice. And she goes, this is moi. Alyssa has food, yum, grubs, too bad. I need a guy to join me on endurance. Who do you think would go with me? Please say somebody that's strong and not a bad personality. Good personality, I mean. I was like, I need something to suck on really bad. My throat hurts. Just have the endurance people pick someone out for you. I'm going to be so, I am so happy green one. Oh, Endurance. That's what that show's called. Okay, so there was a show called Endurance on Discovery Kids. And you like had teams and we wanted to be on Endurance so bad. But like I couldn't do it. So like Becky, Becky had to do it. Even though that never happened. We never got on TV. But yeah, she, we wanted to be on the Endurance TV. Um, and then she was like, I will be the next Endurance contestant. You mean that they will randomly pick out people for other people. And I was like, yeah, I might not even be with us. Oh my God. We were like trying to like, this is so funny. I was like, that's heartbreaking. But anyway, the only way you know for sure is to send in your tape. You mean on the show, they don't pick out your teams. Anyway, I think that both of us would do well on the show. <laughs> yeah. Well, always be friends. Even if one loses and one wins. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Well, we're not even in the mix yet. What I mean is that we have no DVD made up for us. And quite frankly, I don't think our parents will let us do it. 
I was like, I already asked my mom. She said no, but we can try to work around that. Do you think me and S are cute? She goes, I'll only answer this question when you're married. What? With a lawyer present. <laughs> and then she, I wrote, beep, beep, beep. And then she was like, would you like to buy a, a head? He, he, never mind. Yes, for now, and don't ask me again, por favor, save me the trouble. I was like, sure, $20 is my final offer. When will it be delivered? What? I don't get it. It's like, when somebody decapitates you, that'll be $40, please. For the person, $20 for the head, $25 for the burial, and $50 for the burning. What? Take the other person's head and shrink it, then burn it. That's $80. Okay, well... I'm not sure what that was about. Um, I have three more. Oh, this is between me and a girl named Amy. And uh, we had like names for each other. She want I wanted to be called Hope and she wanted to be called Mimo. M-I-M-O. Don't ask me why. I don't know. Um, it's like Hope. I am like so mad and jealous right now. My sis had this test for Alan, which was a teacher. And she did everything she was told to do. Then he asked her, you're trying out for High School Musical, right? Then she goes, yeah. Then he goes, good, I'll keep you in mind. It's not fair. I have been doing the musicals way longer than she has. She hates to sing, and now she's going to probably take away my musical love. I'm so mad. I mean, if she gets a lead, that's just not fair. I've tried out more than her, and she doesn't even like the hair and makeup costumes and even the singing. Ah, uh, ugh. Okay. This was in 8th grade after um, we were getting ready to leave middle school and I was like so afraid that some of my guy friends would become popular and they wouldn't like talk to me anymore. And it's between me and my friend Corey. I was like, Corey, this year we've become really good friends. I'm afraid that over the summer you will become a popular jerk and forget all about me. Then high school starts again and you will hate me. I don't want to lose you. You are a really good friend. You are the only one I trust with my secrets. I know I can tell you anything. Corey, I know I'm not popular like you, but I really like you as a friend. <laughs> and he goes... I won't stop being your friend over the summer. Plus, I don't like anyone in this school anyways. Don't worry. I'm always there for you. Okay. That was awkward. And then there's a fortune in here. 